Good afternoon folks, my name is PK. So a lot of you guys know that I recently took ownership of this Renault Clio over here. And I mean it's a very nice car, but you know that even though it's nice in just about every conceivable way, there are certain things that stand out. So in this video, I want to talk to you guys about the top five things that I absolutely love about this car. And as well as my one favorite thing that I actually ad ad adore in this vehicle. So please stay tuned, it's going to be a really fun video. Here it is then in all of its glory. Officially, the vehicle is known as a Renault Clio 4 900T Dynamic. And this particular example here is dressed in a paint job known as Pro White. It is also accented in certain gloss black um, accents along the door over there, as well as the grill and all around the vehicle. Now at the front of the vehicle, you see that the splitter over here, the splitter, as well as the housing of these um, turning lights over here, is actually a matte black this is the same material that is actually used um to actually um make these accents below the headlights over here now uh, this basically th this vehicle is a 2019 model year as well now my favorite thing about this vehicle is literally walking up to it because as you walk up to it you actually get to admire the design so this is a facelifted model so the, the Clio first came about um, 10 11 years ago now but this is actually the first um, facelift of the model that first came and it incorporates some certain design tweaks which I will walk you guys through as we go in the video but walking up this vehicle is very aesthetically pleasing especially in light of those beautiful lights especially in light of that prominent prominent Renault logo which you definitely can not miss for anything and I mean um, uh, other features, nitty gritties that I really like are those rims. These are some 14 inch rims. These are actually factory. I got it specced with those rims when I got the car because I love my cars with, with the rims and all. Now, as we swivel the camera to my face, I'm gonna to talk to you about my five favorite things about the Renault Clio 4. The first of, of those things is the design. The design of this vehicle is amazing. Whether you approach the car from the front or from the back, the LED lights, you know, the grills, and, and as well as those logos, they make for a really beautiful, aesthetically pleasing vehicle. I think Renault have done an amazing job. I mean, the pre-facelift model of this version was not too shabby either to begin with but i think they've outdone themselves with this current uh renault clio specifically with the design i love these front lamps i love the led incorporation renault has not cheaped out at all uh, when it comes to the LED lights of the Renault Clio. So when you unlock the vehicle, I really hope that you see this, but when you unlock the vehicle, those lights go on. You can see that there. So the lights are actually on. These are the LED lights that go on. Now, everything, everything in this headlamp is Xenon. Everything is a Xenon lamp. The high beams, the low beams, the LEDs are all Xenon. I really, really love this. Now, in the previous um, model, Clio, the pre-facelift of this one, these lights, these daytime running lights were actually incorporated in this bit here, but Renault have actually decided to take them and to include them in the entire headlight, which I absolutely love and absolutely agree with. Another little feature, and I also consider this a safety feature. So when you lock the vehicle, the mirrors will automatically tilt in. You see, now that is a clear indication that the vehicle has actually been locked. So it also um, it, it 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 prevents that unnecessary move of having to like sort of test your doors and stuff like that. And it it actually makes for a very very nice, absolutely convenient uh, feature in this in this particular vehicle. Continuing with the LED light story, they actually continue all the way to the back. Now, I'm not sure if the pre-facelift Clio had these, but when you unlock the car, some LED lights also go on here as well. So as I unlock the car, they actually go on. As you can see that they begin to, they're, they're, they're actually rimmed. They rim, the, they rim the light very, very well. So that is actually a very, very nice feature about this thing. It also helps you see where 
at night. It also helps you locate the vehicle at night. Um, still on the design, so these little four things here, these little four holes that you see there, those are, that is basically the park distance control. That uh, Those are the parking sensors of the vehicle. These are the parking sensors. So if you if you back up and, you and you're too close to an object, it will start making a noise, you see. But um, I mean, I mean, I'm sure you guys can see the silhouette, the design, the looks of the vehicle from this angle are just beautiful. There is there is really nothing that I can say or do like to further drive my point home apart from the fact that these are beautiful and also I'm parked next to a no parking sign. Anyway, continuing um with the vehicle review. So the, the design and the execution of the LED lights were actually my second favorite thing. So I've already spoken about that. I'm now going to move on to my third favorite thing, and that is the quality of the drive. This vehicle is amongst the most comfortable cars that I have ever driven. And it actually starts with the pedal calibration. This car, the clutch of this thing is easily the easiest thing to actually operate i've i've driven the toyota test and my goodness that thing's clutch feels like you're operating a bench press at the gym but this one it, it is very cooperative it's very nice and simple to actually you know to use to actually operate it is i think among the best things ever you guys probably know by now that the benefit of having a cooperative clutch in a car in a manual car is being able to actually negotiate bumper to bumper traffic as well as to perform immaculate clutch control moving on to my fourth favorite feature the boot space now being as small as it is i really did not expect the clio to actually have the type of of boot space that it does it's actually very nice and it's actually very spacious i can fit in a lot of the things that i like normally need to fit on a day-to-day -day basis like for example today I actually went to do some grocery shopping and I actually fitted everything. I managed to fit everything that I possibly could in the boot of the car as well as some other things as well that I actually did. So the boot space in this vehicle, I think it's, it is for a Clio, for a Clio, it is the best thing. It is the best thing that I've actually ever experienced in a car. A quick location change and here we are and I want to tell you about my fifth favorite thing about the Renault Clio and that is its infotainment system. I think the infotainment system in the Renault Clio is surprisingly, yes, surprisingly good for a vehicle of this caliber, for a vehicle of this nature because it is very comprehensive. In fact, it is just the reverse camera shy of being the best in any car really because it's, it, it features, I think it's, um, it's, it's a 10 inch, yes, 10 inch TFT screen. It's also got uh, satellite navigation it's also got bluetooth connectivity and it's microphone the vehicle's microphone is actually very good i've actually made a couple of um phone calls with the vehicle and people on the other end of the line have heard me perfectly there were no problems there were no um connection you know problems um on that on that subject actually i, I want to quickly underscore how good it is because i recently drove a golf 7 gti um whose infotainment system i used to make a phone call and surprisingly surprisingly the person on the other end of the line could not hear me at all because the vehicle's microphone was simply terrible but the clear i have not heard any complaints about the quality of the microphone of the sound being bad at all and that is why i'm saying it is surprisingly good because the this is actually a city vehicle. This is a proper, proper city vehicle. Its engine specs, its torque specs, everything, they amount to those of a city vehicle. And I think this is actually the best daily driver. I wanna quickly talk to you about the vehicle's fuel consumption. Now, um, I'm not really sure how it is, how light or otherwise it is on fuel, simply because I don't drive it a lot on a daily basis. I do about six kilometers uh, a day, you see, because um, I work nearby. So I do about six kilometers on a given day. So I'm not really sure how it is um, on fuel. But so far, what I've seen, the vehicle is not as light as it should be on fuel. 
that's what I can tell you. I think it's simply because of its turbocharged engine, um, amongst other things. But it's not exactly light as it should be on fuel because at the moment I'm currently returning 7.4 liters per 100 kilometers. I know that's good, but for a city car with a one liter engine, it could be better, trust me. But all things considered, I think the Renault Clio is, it's a very comprehensive in execution. So if you were to ask me on whether or not you should buy a Renault Clio, my answer is a resounding yes. This vehicle is very unisex. It is completely unisex. It fits both genders and it does so perfectly. It is an immaculate vehicle, beautiful design. It will fit almost every kind of lifestyle out there. It will fit almost every kind of personality. It is something that is basically for your typical millennial. I think I think Clio, I think Reynolds, when they designed this thing, they had the, 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 the millennial, the young professional, in mind because this that is what this vehicle perfectly suits even for me i actually did not think that i would enjoy the, this vehicle as much as i do but glory to god i do and i do so very very much i actually never saw myself owning one of these things i, I legit never saw myself owning a renault clio but here i am today i own one and i enjoy it to the fullest so if you're to ask me if you should buy this thing my answer is a resounding yes Owning a car as small, as compact as a Renault Clio is, is an experience that you would not expect to rip great benefits from. Because, I mean, the vehicle is meant to be a city car, it's meant to be fuel efficient, it's meant to be cheap, it's meant to be, you know, just about in every way convenient, you see. Which means that all of that is done at the expense of comfort, of, 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 of luxury and of fun as well. But with the Clio, the vehicle, is immaculately it is immaculately executed it is amongst the best vehicles that i've ever driven it is very comfortable it is very nice to drive it is very it is basically flawless in just about every way there are actually a couple of things about the clio that i don't like i will speak about those on another day but today i actually wanted to focus on the things that really really make me happy about the vehicle and i thank you guys so much for actually watching the video and i really hope to see you again soon. Cheers!